Hey guys, my name is Danny and I'm your life and a relationship coach. And today I wanted to talk about a topic that I get all the time and it has to deal with neediness. So are you needy? And what can you do to combat that? What can you do to fight that urge of being needy? So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is something that again, seems pretty easy, but it's a little bit difficult to do if you're not used to doing it. And it's pack your schedule. Make sure you are staying busy, doing things that make you happy, doing things that that distract you from those kind of obsessive thoughts that you may have. Um, because neediness is just is it stems from an insecurity, right? So it stems from something that you feel like you are missing a void. So it may be a lack of self confidence, it may be a lack of self esteem, whatever the case, it, whatever the case may be, it is something that is affecting the way in which you perceive the world and the way in which you perceive yourself within that world and particularly in your relationship. So if you feel the need to be around your partner 24 seven, if you feel the need to be validated all the time, that is something that can be incredibly difficult for your partner, for your boyfriend, for your man to manage, right? So how do you combat that? How do you stop that feeling of needing to be around him all the time? Well, it's pack your schedule, do things that you want to do that you haven't been doing because you've been so invested in the relationship itself. And when you start to do this, what you will find is that you'll start to build a sense of self-confidence. You'll start to build a self a sense of self-esteem and you won't feel the need to be as reliant on your man, on your boyfriend, on your husband as much because you're kind of building a sense of independence and rebuilding that self identity. The second thing is create a bucket list do things that you've been wanting to do for a long time that you've been putting off. So sit down and create a list. You know, what is it that you want to do? Maybe it's it's mountain biking, maybe it's hiking, maybe it's rock climbing. It could be as simple as going to that new bookstore that opened up down the street. Uh, maybe trying the new, you know, drink at Starbucks, like whatever it is, doing those things that you've been wanting to do and reinvesting in yourself. Because what that also helps you to do is kind of pack your schedule, right? So if you have a bucket list of things that you want to do, you can pre plan these things, you can say, I'm going to do this thing on Friday, I'm gonna do this thing on Saturday, I'm gonna do this thing on Monday, I'm gonna do this on Tuesday, and you're adding it to your schedule, which means you're helping yourself remain distracted, you're helping yourself work through that anxiety of, of those negative thoughts and that feel that void and that feeling of not you know, being able to do things without your significant other. The third one is just don't be so available. You know, if you allow yourself to be available, if you're kind of just sitting there waiting for him, um, you know, you're there at his beck and call, then you're going to have a lot of time to think. You're going to have a lot of negative space to just kind of wonder what he's doing and where he's going and who he's going with and why he isn't spending time with you and you wish you could be with him right now. And so you'll start to obsessively text him and he'll want to know what he's doing. And it just becomes a vicious cycle, right? So the more time that you spend with yourself, the more time that you allow um, time to take over, it doesn't benefit you, it doesn't help you because it allows your mind to start to run wild. And the one thing that we are trying to prevent is allowing your mind to run wild. That's why we talk about packing your schedule. That's why we talk about creating a bucket list. That's why we talk about, you know, reinvesting in yourself and doing things that you find interesting, because it gets you out of that, that negative space, it gets you out of that place where like time just seems to continue forever and ever and ever and ever. So that is one of the other primary things that you want to try and do. And that's just not be so available to your partner. Don't respond to his texts right away. Um, don't rearrange your schedule with friends just to accommodate him, like rearrange with him. That's okay. That doesn't mean that the relationship is going to come to an end. If anything, what that does is that keeps him more interested, that keeps him wanting to chase. Because if you allow yourself to just be there for him every second of the day, that's not exciting. That's not that's not a chase. That's not a challenge. That's just, you know, easy. And when a guy has it easy, he has a tendency of just kind of relaxing a little bit too much into the relationship, you fall into a routine. And then, you know, the dynamics of the relationship completely shift. The last and final one is distance makes the heart grow fonder. So allow for space, allow for time between you guys seeing each other. So if you feel the need to see him every single day, if you feel the need to text him every single day, if, even if you, you know, don't see him, you want to zoom call him, you want to FaceTime him, that's too much. It's excessive. Give time 
so that you guys can actually miss each other. And I know it's kind of one of those cliche phrases where it says distance makes a heart grow fonder, but it's so true because by allowing time and space to come in between the two of you guys, you start to recognize and realize what you miss about each other. You start to recognize that you miss those shared experiences, building memories, doing all of those things. But if you're around each other 24 seven and you're each other's lives, or you've made your life completely about him, you're lost. And, and you're just always around each other. And that's a lot of overstimulation. So allowing that distance to kind of really build the bond between you two. And it also gives him the ability to chase because think about it, chase. If you, if you want to just think about the term chase that signifies, or it, it shows like you're running after something, but if you guys are together like this 24 seven, there's nothing to chase creating distance allows him to chase you. So just think about it that way. If you guys are struggling with really trying to keep your man interested, right? And my assumption is, is if you're watching this video, you're trying to figure out what it is you're doing wrong and how to reattract him, how to get him interested again. I have created an amazing product that will help you to do that. You can head over to happilycommitted.com and click on the tab that says product. And there you will find the how to keep a man interested training. And in this training, what I basically do is I give you the tips and recommendations and tools in order to keep a man interested. But I also talk about what things cause a man to become disinterested. So I want you to be able to have the foundational elements and understand what leads a man to not being interested and how to fix that. If that is something that you feel that you need, I highly recommend that product. And I promise you, it will shift the dynamic of your relationship. If you guys relate to this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Um, I love having open dialogue with people. So if this is something that you related to, or, you know, maybe you feel like I may have missed something, please make sure you leave your comments down below. Um, maybe you just want to know a little bit more. You want to dive in a little bit deeper. Um, you can visit us at happilycommitted.com where we have a multitude of different articles and blogs and videos related to this topic and many other topics as well. Um, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with myself or any other of the amazing coaches that we have on the team, you can also do that directly through the website. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you're staying happy and healthy. I'll see you soon.